computer science videos here today to show you guys in this tutorial how to rip a music disc to the music application using a Mac computer. Without further ado, let us start the video. So in this tutorial, you need to have access to a Mac computer that could have a built-in super drive to the Mac computer or you will require external USB super drive that will allow us to rip the disk to the Mac computer. And of course you require a CD, could be your own, could be the one that you've purchased from a music store, maybe five, 10, 15 years ago, depending on whenever. We can I start the tutorial. Before I start this tutorial, I would like to say that you are more than welcome to subscribe to my channel, Computer Science Videos, as we know, every problem is solved by indirection. You can also follow my Twitter account. We are trying to grow as fast as ever. I'm on TikTok. We post videos here and there. Follow my page on Facebook. I'm also on Instagram. You are more than welcome to support me on PayPal. Let's now focus on the video. So now let's bring everything into the frame. The Mac computer, the USB super drive, which I will open up and connect to the Mac computer. Let's move that to the side. Turn this around. Connect via USB. Now it's now been connected. Let's now bring in the CD that we will be using for this tutorial. Here we have it. Tupac and Outlaws still arise. You can use any CD of your choice. Just some quick information in regards to the purchasing of CDs. This was purchased for about maybe seven pounds 10 years ago. However, we can rip purchased music CDs to the Mac computer, but we cannot burn and start distributing and then selling because that itself is very illegal and incorrect. You will have to do your researching on copyright infringement and what you can and cannot do with things that do not belong to you. So let's take out the CD and now insert into the USB super drive. Let's now turn the attention to the Mac computer. This should open up the music application and then once we are in the music application, would you like to import the CD still arise into your music library? That is correct, I do. Click on yes. This will now import the full album from one to 15. This should take some time depending on however many songs you have in that album or how many songs come in the album. We'll just fast forward all this until the end. And so that's the first one done. Let's just wait for the other 14 that are to follow after the first song. And so song one to 15 have now been imported to the Mac computer via the music application and the USB super drive. And how long did that take? Almost five minutes. So we can now eject the disc. And that has now left the super drive. We can go into the album. And then what we can do is import the artwork 
And then what we will need to do is sign into the music application, file, library, get album artwork for you to see that exact artwork on the album. So we can now quit music, remove the USB super drive from the Mac computer. And so that's it for this video. I'll see you guys in my next tutorial. Thanks for now. Thank you for making it towards the end of the video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, Computer Science Videos. Be sure to check out the previous video on screen now, or you can ideally click on the playlist and watch all the journey for Computer Science Videos from the start until now.